Have you seen this error message after upgrading to Android 11 when you use the Chrome or Brave browsers? Happened to me, and I've solved it. I'll show you how I did it, and a few tips along the way. The other day I log into my phone, and the screen pops up. Software update, Android 11. It's free, I get new features and security updates. The phone is working well, and I'm really on the fence if I want to go through with this. Should I update it or shouldn't I? I figure, why not, it's going to prolong the life of the phone. I press the button, and the update starts. The phone shuts down, starts installing the firmware, it shuts down again, does a reboot, and I get the login screen. Okay, the moment of truth is here, the phone's rebooted, Android 11 is installed, I can't wait to see all these new features. So I'm going to log in. I don't see any new features. Do you see any new features? If there are any, I probably won't notice them much. I move on and start using a web browser to check something out when I notice something strange. I start up the Samsung web browser. Up comes the home page. So I click on YouTube here and up comes YouTube. Hey, works good. I use the Brave web browser and I get this error message. I thought it was a problem with the Brave web browser, but I try a couple of websites to be sure. I try Google, and that works. Then I try YouTube, and that works. Now what's strange here is I have the same homepage for each browser. It's an HTML file that's on my SD card. It's local. Oh, by the way, uh, here's a tip. I don't know if you know this, but Android browsers can be used like file managers to view directories and files on your phone. That's what I do to view my HTML file. The trick is knowing the URL to type in. Let me show you the URL I use to view my HTML file. First you start typing file, colon, forward slash, forward slash, forward slash. Now you're telling the browser that you want to look at a file on your phone. Next you type the location of the file. In my case it's SD card, forward slash documents, forward slash bookmarks, forward slash mybookmarks.html. I have this URL as my default web page whenever I open up a browser. Now if I wanted to view all the files and directories on my SD card, all I would type in is file colon forward slash forward slash forward slash SD card. Now back to the problem. Why all of a sudden does the Samsung browser work with local HTML files and not the Brave or Chrome browsers? It used to work before the Android 11 update and it should because I made the file and I know it's safe. Well. Off to the internet I go to find an answer. I resort to Google. I type in my error, Android 11, error, file not found, after firmware update, and I get all this other stuff for all different kinds of phones, A70s, A20s, but no help. So I decide, let me go over to Samsung, but I usually find that when you search on Samsung, they miss the mark completely. Watch this. Samsung, A70, Android 11, error, file not found, Sorry, we weren't able to find any s results for your search. So I decide, let me try again, and I'm going to type in this time, uh, Android 11 problems. Hopefully something comes up there. What do they do? They try to sell me a brand new Galaxy Tab A7 Wi-Fi. You know what? I was so frustrated, I feel just like this. Ah! After all of the searching, I came up with a workaround. It's not a fix, but it does work. Well, that sound means I want to give you a quick warning. This video is a demonstration to show you that you can read HTML files in Android 11 if you move files from one section of your phone to another. If you choose to undertake the same process on your own, then you assume all the risks. It, there is a possibility that if you delete certain files or move them into the wrong place, your phone may no longer work. With that said, let me go on with the demonstration. Now, we're not going to be able to see the browser directories because they're hidden on the phone. But there is a way. I'm going to connect the phone to a Windows desktop computer with a USB cable. You can also use a Mac. When it connects, I'll be able to see the phone directories on the phone and move the files around. And there's my favorite Windows has detected something sound. The Explorer window pops up. Now I'll get my mouse over here and maximize the window. Don't panic if you see a blank screen. That's because your phone is locked, and if someone were to grab your phone and plug it into a computer, they can steal all your files. So this is for security, and it's perfectly normal. So the first thing we're going to have to do is unlock the phone. Op, pop up the storage areas, and what I need to do is copy the bookmarks file on my card 
to the Brave directory on the phone. So bookmarks file to the Brave directory. Simple copy and paste. So I'm going to open up the SD card and look at the directories. Now my HTML file is inside this directory named bookmarks and it's got all the rest of the associated files. So what I'm going to do is copy the bookmarks directory. We go copy. Let's go back to the phone. Let's get into the phone storage. So right now we're inside the phone. This is where you delete the wrong stuff. Uh, not a good situation. So we're going to look for this directory called Android. Then we're going to go and look for the directory called data. And this is where you're going to find all the directories for the different apps you've installed on your phone. So the one we're looking for is the one named com.brave.browser. So I'm going to double click on this folder. Then I'm going to go to files and downloads. So if my files reside in the downloads directory, I'll be able to see them. So I'll do paste. And there's all my files coming over from the SD card. And that's it, I'm done. Now there's one more step to do. Before I tell you, just a reminder. If you find this video helpful, why don't you give me a like with a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Now let's go on with the final stage of this workaround. You must be asking yourself the magic question. How do you find the HTML files on your phone? you need to type in a URL that tells the browser where the files are. I'm going to show you that, but it's rather lengthy. Feel free to stop and start the video at any time so you can keep up. Here's the URL you type into the browser. It's file, colon, forward slash, forward slash, forward slash. This tells the browser to look for a local file on the phone. Next, you type in storage, forward slash, emulated, forward slash, zero, that's the number zero, not a letter O, the number zero, forward slash Android, forward slash data, forward slash com dot brave dot browser, because I'm using the Brave browser, forward slash files, forward slash download. Now the next section is going to be whatever file you want to look at. In my case, it's a directory named bookmarks, and then I want to see the mybookmarks.html file. Now I enter that into the phone, and hallelujah, up comes my bookmarks web page. I got it back. Yes. So I don't know when Android is going to actually fix this. I really hope they do soon. You could easily just go ahead and use the Samsung browser, because it does not exhibit this problem. Well, that's it. We'll see you soon.